what up guys um so this video is all about Danny Garcia versus Amir Khan um a pretty good uh welterweight matchup that is for Danny Garcia's championship that he won off the faded Eric Morales now considering what happened in that fight I saw a lot of uh keys to victory for Amir Khan when Danny Garcia fought Eric Morales. I, I did not like uh, the performance uh, Garcia, uh, you know, uh, had uh, when he fought Eric Morales. It was, it was lackluster, uh, at least. Just to say that, um, you know, a few things Danny Garcia did was he was waiting on Morales. And, uh, he was just waiting on him, and Eric Morales got off first uh, in the first couple of rounds. He was able to land, uh, you know, straight, his straight uh, right hand, that classic Morales shot. And he was jabbing him. He landed the right hand to the body, uh, you know, really doing the Eric Morales technician thing. Um, you know, you cannot wait on Amir Khan because the thing about Amir Khan is he'll punch you with uh you know a quick flurries and he'll be gone like eric morales was not he was landing shots and he was right in front of him and and that that allowed dan garcia to fire back but you cannot do that against amir khan because he'll be out of there and he'll be ready to counter you when you're ready to get off so that's the problem i see here if dan garcia cannot have a slow start because even if he adjusts you know I, I saw some pretty good defensive skills from Danny Garcia. He keeps his hands high. He, uh, you know, he has decent head movement. So I don't expect Emir Khan to really hurt Danny Garcia with too many shots. But I do see Emir Khan's volume giving Danny Garcia problems. Because he throws a lot of punches. Like, he'll throw at least, like, 35 punches around. Something like that. And Danny Garcia might only throw 20. And, uh... You know, he might land a few, but just considering the volume, uh, you know, we've seen volume punchers uh, get away with decisions that not everybody agrees with, but because of all the volume, you know, uh, he gets more credit than he deserves, even considering uh, May Pacquiao versus Tim Bradley. Bradley threw more punches, uh, even in the case of uh, Paul Williams versus uh, Arislan Lara. Paul Williams is a volume puncher. He threw he threw a lot more punches than Arislani Lara. He just didn't land too many. I do expect Khan to land his fair share of punches. Um, Dan Garcia's defense isn't that great. Uh, you know, it's, there's nothing special about it. He's just a good, solid defense. Uh, kind of like Lamont Peterson. You know, we you know, Amir Khan got his, his fair share of punches against Lamont Peterson. I think. More so than anything, Amir Khan's jab is going to give uh, Danny Garcia problems here. Uh, one, because I think it's going to land. If Eric Morales can land his jab, I think Amir Khan's going to land his. Uh, you know, he didn't land too many jabs, but, you know, Amir Khan is a quick, strong jab. And he follows that up with his right hand. So, I think Amir Khan's jab is going to be, a, it's going to have a pretty big role in this fight. I think it's going to, it's going to allow him to control the pace of the fight. Um... The thing about Amir Khan is he he backs out straight. He backs straight out. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, the style of fighter Amir Khan is, Danny Garcia hasn't faced a, a guy like Amir Khan. He hasn't faced a guy that, that an ambush fighter, a guy that will just go in, throw a bunch of punches, and get out. You know, he's really a, Ma a Manny Pacquiao clone. And um, I, I see Danny Garcia having a lot of problems with this kind of fighter because... Um, he might be there waiting to counter, but, uh, you know, Amir Khan's so fast, he's going to be out of there. So, um, overall, I, I see Garcia having problems. I see, I, he's he's going to get a fair share of punches, but Amir Khan has a pretty good chin. He's proven that. He has, um, uh, you know, he, he doesn't have too much power later in the fight, so... I don't see uh, him knocking out Danny Garcia. I don't see Danny Garcia knocking out Amir Khan. I, I just don't see it. I, I don't see him uh, being able to land, you know, 
enough punches to knock out Amir Khan. You know how many punches Marcus Maidana landed on Amir Khan? He could knock him out. You know how many punches uh, Lamont Peterson landed on Amir Khan? He could knock him out. So, um, I, unless Danny Garcia really amps up his energy and um, he fights like Lamont Peterson, that's really the only way I could see him winning. Um, and regarding uh, Angel Garcia, you know, he publicly said his game plan. And that game plan was to beat the fucking shit out of Amir Khan. That was the game plan. To beat the shit out of him. That's the game plan. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> that was hilarious. But I think that means they want to turn into a brawl. I think Freddie Roach knows that. And I think he's gonna really tell Amir Khan to just, you know, circle him to death and put on a boxing clinic. And I really think that that's what we're gonna see. I, I, I see Amir Khan just having too much volume, too many short, straight shots that are going to be landing, and he's going to be out of there, uh, just like he does in most of his other fights. Um, to be honest, I see Amir Khan winning a decision in this fight. I don't see his uh, playing out as a knockout. Um, I think a lot of the myths in boxing is Amir Khan's punching power. He's not that strong. Uh, he is good power early in the fight, but it fades late. And uh, and I see this going to the cards. I see this going to the judges. I see Amir Khan winning a decision. Um, what else? Uh, so in terms of betting, I was looking at the odds. Amir Khan by decision is plus 138. I kind of like that, considering Amir Khan to win is minus 700. Plus 138 is a bit better. Um... If it ends by knockout, could Dan Garcia pull this fight out by knockout? He could, but I don't see it happening. I, th I see really Amir Khan really, considering what happened with Lamont Peterson, he wants to erase that from his resume, and he wants to go out there and have a great performance. And I think that's his aim. In terms of Dan Garcia, he wants to beat uh, a top contender like Amir Khan. He wants to take his name and... Uh, I think he's gonna have problems with that, but he's gonna give it his, uh, his all. Like he's gonna, he's gonna really do his best. But I don't think it's good enough. Uh, I don't see Dan Garcia knocking him out. I just don't see it. If he, if he does, a, a, a very if if he comes out the best way he can and he pulls a Lamont Peterson, he might be able to win a decision. So, um, that's the way I see it. I think it's going to the cards. And I, I think more likely than not, Amir Khan will win the decision. That's my prediction. And uh, it is what it is. Uh, take care.